Hi everyone, this is Jenna speaking. I'm here today to introduce a fantastic hapa restaurant in Taipei called Tang Lao Ya. This place is located near National Taiwan University, so it's always full of students from our school. Because of its popularity, we usually have to wait for about 10 to 20 minutes. You can enjoy different kinds of hot pot at a very reasonable price. Oh, and I'm alone today because Ashley went back to America and I was kind of busy. But I have two very special guests today, and let me introduce them to you. Hi! Hello. <laughs> I'm Priscilla. I'm Jeannie. We both go to NTU DFLL. We're all uh, Jenna's classmates. Now, let's go and see how this place is. At this place, there are two different ways of ordering. You can either order the set menu, which are sections in yellow and pink, or individually order what you want to add into your hot pot. And you can check the ingredient in the green box. But make sure your total price is over 140 Taiwanese dollars if you add individually. After paying for the food, the next thing we usually do is to make sauce. There are different ingredients like pepper, spring onion, grinded garlic and turnip, bean paste, barbecue sauce, and soy sauce. So you can make sauce that fits to your taste. They also provide free rice and drink, so you can get it for unlimited times. The one being shown right now is the set menu. I ordered separately, so I first got a pot which just has mist stock in. And then get other ingredients I can put into the boiling soup. I ordered beef, an egg, tempura, noodle, and cabbage. Hi! Now I'm gonna start making my sauce. I mean, now I'm gonna start um, putting the sauce into my soup. So I first put this sauce that I made. And then I like this moment the best. Whenever I see my hot pot boiling, I get super excited. This is how I eat. I first put the cabbage and a piece of meat on my spoon. Then, add the red bean paste. Bean paste tastes quite similar to Korean bean paste called pinjang. Lastly, wrap it up and put it into my drilling mouth. It's so good! After finishing hot pot, we move on to the next step, which is dessert. The place where we can have dessert is right next to where we had hot pot. At this place, you can drink free coffee or tea and also have some ice cream. Not only that, there are a lot of comic books and magazines. So you can take a nice break to digest after eating. I really recommend this restaurant where you can have a nice meal and a good memory.